Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back with a message you really need to hear right now. Let's dive in and see what your angels want to tell you today. Right from the start, I'm hearing that you have a strong reputation for being someone who can't be easily tricked or fooled. People know you as someone who sees right through their intentions. This makes you really popular with those who need honest, straightforward advice. When people are unsure about others, they come to you because you have a special gift for understanding people's true motives. At the same time, this gift can also make people keep their distance. They know you're not someone to mess with. They sense that you can quickly figure out their intentions, which can make them wary of you. I sense that many of you are very in tune with your intuition, so you can easily tell when something isn't right. I'm also picking up on a person around you who really wants to be close to you. However, they're aware of your gift and fear that if they come near, you'll discover something about them they're not ready to admit, either to you or to themselves. Sometimes, without meaning to, you might call people out on things they're not prepared to face. You know you have this special ability to see through things, and you try to use it carefully and not point out stuff people aren't ready to deal with. But sometimes, it just happens. You might pick up on someone's emotions, health, or even their mental state without intending to. There's someone around you who isn't doing well right now. They don't want you to see them struggling because they want you to think of them as strong and dependable. This person has a lot of pride and might find it hard to ask for help. They'd rather keep their problems to themselves, even if it means hiding their true feelings from you. This person could be someone you dated, or someone close to you. For those of you who date men, it might be an ex, someone you're currently seeing, or even someone you're married to. I'm picking up on a strong masculine energy here. They want to be someone you can turn to, but they're avoiding you because they know you can sense their struggles. They might not be taking care of themselves properly or could be feeling down mentally. In some cases, this could be a parent or a figure who has supported you, especially when you were younger. They don't want to trouble you with their issues. They might be trying to hide their problems from you because they don't want to burden you. For others, this could be someone you're currently dating or have been in a relationship with. They might seem distant or less communicative lately, leaving you wondering what's going on. They might be pulling away because they don't want you to see their struggles or ask for support. If you have a gut feeling that someone around you isn't quite right, trust that feeling. Sometimes, when we're really close to someone, our feelings can blur our judgment. You might not always notice when something is off, especially if you're used to that person acting a certain way. This person knows you have a strong intuition and can sense when they're struggling. They don't like that you can figure them out so easily, so they try to avoid you. They might be keeping their distance, texting instead of calling, or acting distant. They don't want to worry you with their problems, and they're trying to hide what's really going on. People are talking about you, saying you're really good at reading others. You can spot when someone is lying or feeling off just by their body language, facial expressions, or small changes in their behavior. Because of this, the person who's struggling might avoid you, thinking you won't be able to figure them out if they stay away from you. Even if you haven't quite figured out what's wrong with this person, don't worry. This kind of thing can happen a lot. Sometimes, people don't come right out and tell you when you're right about something. For example, you might have warned a friend about an issue, and then that exact thing happened. Instead of admitting you were right, they might avoid you because they're embarrassed. People often need time to work through their own problems before they're ready to talk about them. They might feel awkward or ashamed and need to deal with their feelings on their own first. It's normal for them to need this time. Even I go through this sometimes. 
When something is going wrong in my life, I often need to figure it out myself before I'm ready to talk about it. It's part of processing and understanding things before sharing them with others. So, if you notice someone avoiding you, it might just be that they need time to work things out. They'll come around when they're ready. Sometimes, when people go through something really tough or traumatic, talking about it can make those emotions come rushing back. There are people who don't want to trouble others with their problems. They don't want to admit they need help or show their struggles because they want you to still see them as someone strong and helpful. This person might try to stay involved in your life and help you out with things, even if they're having a hard time. They do this to save face and keep up appearances. For many of you, this could be an ex or someone you used to be close to. They might have made some bad choices and don't want to show you how badly things are going for them now. Even though they're struggling, they haven't forgotten you. You're still on their mind and in their heart. They think about you a lot, and that's why they might pop back into your life. They miss you and remember how you were always there for them. Today, the way I set everything up, I really felt a lot of passion in the air. This message isn't just about love, it's also about someone from your past who has strong feelings. This person might be a past lover or someone with a lot of pride. They're feeling embarrassed about how things ended between you two. Even though this message touches on past relationships, it's clear that you're shining brightly. The cards show you as the Ten of Cups and the Star. No matter what you're doing or where you are in life, people see you as a beacon of hope and inspiration. You bring light and motivation to others. They admire you and see you as someone who stands out and makes a difference. You know that song, I'm a creep, what am I doing here? Sometimes, you show up with this bright, amazing energy, and it makes people feel like they don't belong with you. They might think, I'm just a weirdo. I'm in their way. That's how this person feels right now. They don't feel worthy to be around you, especially after what happened between you two. This person made some poor choices in the past, but now they're starting to realize they need to change, especially for you. They want to become a better person. The reason they're avoiding you is that they're unhappy with their current situation. They don't want you to see their struggles or their mistakes. So, they're putting off seeing you or meeting up until they've fixed some things and healed. They want to be in a better place before reconnecting with you. So, how does this connect to your ability to see through them or not be fooled? Let's talk about the cards that showed up. The Lovers, this card often represents love and deep connections. It seems like there's a strong emotional tie here, and this person feels it deeply. Three of Cups, this card is about celebration and friendships. It suggests that there's a social or joyful aspect to your life that's really standing out. Justice, I mistook this for the judgment card earlier, but it fits. Justice is about fairness and balance. This person is having a moment of realization, seeing that they need to treat you right. They're getting a sense of their own mistakes and know they need to make things fair and balanced. The Fool this card signifies new beginnings and sometimes foolish actions. Whenever this person tried to trick or fool you in the past, they faced consequences. You've called them out on their behavior, and it's clear that they're recognizing you were right about many things before they could even admit it. In short, this person is starting to see their errors and realize that you were always on point about their actions. They're coming to terms with their mistakes and understanding that you were right all along. There's a feeling of getting caught, like someone who's been doing something sneaky and doesn't want to face the consequences. This person doesn't want to admit what they've done wrong or face the music. But here's the thing, people see you as someone with a lot of integrity. You're like a guiding light in their lives. 
With the Ten of Cups, the Star, and the Lovers showing up, you're bringing joy, hope, and love to those around you. The person we're talking about really values their connection with you. They don't want to mess things up, so right now, they're holding back. They want to come back to you, but only when they can show their best side. They don't want to return while still feeling off or not their best. So, what should you do? Focus on enjoying your own life. Keep shining your light and having fun. Don't worry too much about this person. They are going to make their way back to you when they're ready. The energy strongly suggests they will return. So, today's message is about someone who feels like they can't fool you. They think they need to hide things from you, but deep down, they still really want to be close to you. This person knows they'll eventually have to show their true self to you. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this message resonates with you. If you want to know more or have a specific question, just ask or check out my other readings. Here's the thing, this person, possibly an ex or past lover, might still be in love with you. You might already sense this. They're worried that you know how they feel. They regret their choices and feel stuck where they are. They wish they could leave their current situation behind and come back to you. They really miss you and are feeling the weight of their regrets. Okay, so here's the deal. There's someone in your life who's been hiding their feelings from you. They're nervous because they think you already know how they feel. They don't want to keep pretending or hiding anymore. But they don't know how to show you their true emotions. You might be acting calm and relaxed around this person because you already sense what's going on with them. If you were to call them out on their feelings, it might scare them away. So, right now, this person is keeping their distance because they're worried that you know they care about you. It sounds a bit strange, but that's what's happening. They're trying to figure out how to approach you without feeling vulnerable. Got it. Here's what's happening. This person might have accidentally let their feelings slip to other people and it somehow made its way to you. But the main issue is they feel like you can see right through them. They think their face and body are giving away how strongly they feel about you. On another note, there's also some drama with a friend. This friend thought they were getting away with certain things. But when things went south or when conflicts popped up, you ended up revealing that you saw right through their actions from the start. They were surprised to find out that you were aware of everything from the beginning. Here's the scoop. You've learned that sometimes, you can't just speak up about everything you see. It's like having to play it cool or hold back to avoid causing drama or making people uncomfortable. But there are moments when you just have to say, I'm sensing this, or I know what you did. People get embarrassed when they think they're hiding something but you're actually the only one who noticed. They feel self-conscious because you're the only one who calls them out. This makes them worry about how they come across to others. Most people don't realize you have this special ability, so when you do speak up, it catches them off guard. Here's the deal. You might find yourself calling out little things here and there, especially with people you don't know well. When I say calling out, it doesn't mean you're causing fights or drama. Sometimes, it's just noticing something about someone that they thought they were hiding. You do this with kindness and respect. Now, there's someone, maybe an ex or a past lover, who really looks up to you. They're worried you figured them out. This person wants another chance with you, but they're holding back because they don't feel ready yet. Even though they're not coming around right now, they don't want to leave your life. With the Emperor card showing up, it's clear this person sees you as someone very important. They see you as their happiness and everything they could want. It's like that song lyric, I can see your halo, you're everything I needed more. 
They think you're amazing and out of this world. Here's what I'm picking up. In the past, this person didn't want to listen. They had to learn things the hard way. They might have some Aries energy, or be an Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. You might also be thinking about a past friend, maybe someone with water or earth sign traits. When you were younger, you probably noticed a lot about people, even if they were flaws or problems. You have this amazing ability to love people unconditionally. You saw their issues, but still accepted them for who they were, as long as it didn't hurt you too much. But here's the thing, when you finally spoke up and said, hey, this is what's going on, it really surprised and upset people. They felt uncomfortable that you knew so much about them, but still stuck around or stayed friends. It's like your ability to see through things makes people uneasy. They don't know how to handle it when you reveal that you've noticed their flaws. You might wonder, what am I supposed to do? It's just part of your gift. You see things others might miss, and that can really throw people off balance. So here's what's happening. Many of you out there are like detectives. You spot things about people, especially when they act weird or strange. You wait until you have real proof or a situation where you can show the evidence. Even though you can see and feel things, it's tough to prove it when someone says, Oh, you're wrong. You might have had these gifts for a long time. There could be a conversation happening among people you know, or people from your past, about your abilities. They know you have a special talent for sensing things. Right now, there's someone who's talking to others about wanting to come back into your life. They're wondering if you know how much they still care about you. They regret not telling you how they felt before. They're asking if you still feel the same way, or if you know how much they love you. The person they're talking to is telling them, oh, they know. They definitely know. This person believes you can sense their feelings and know what's going on. You might even be aware of them talking about you or seeking advice from someone who might have spiritual insight. So, even if you haven't been told directly, you might already feel that this person is still thinking about you and wants to reconnect.